You are a strong, independent woman. Yeah, you did nothing. You did nothing. I'm still freaking out. I'm still freaking out. I want my phone checking the screen time to see how much time I spend on my phone. It's fun. <laughs> this is good day. I honestly cannot believe this is real. I didn't know I was that bad. Yeah, it's mostly YouTube and Instagram. What do you think my screen time on my phone is? Every day. you five hours? This is what it's saying it is. So I clearly have a problem. You know, I was just going through a difficult time in my life. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm just lazy and like to procrastinate. And by procrastinate, I mean watch a bunch of BTS videos. I know, I have a problem. But the good thing is, I'm trying to fix it. Starting from today, I vow to procrastinate no more. Just to clarify though, I'm not saying I'm never gonna go on my phone ever again, cause that's just crazy. But I am gonna massively cut down on how much I procrastinate. Nine hours is just me failing as a human being. <laughs> I am currently living on my own. Uh, my family have gone away for two months. So the first challenge is surviving. You know, just trying to keep myself alive and do all the errands that I've been putting off, like stocking up the fridge. Welcome to my fridge, everyone. I've never seen something so sad in my life. Okay, the world's saddest fridge tour coming right up. Oh, and the, my fridge is peeping. I can't explain to you why I have four different types of butters in my fridge. I don't even have bread in the house. We have some blueberries, which are probably our date. Healthy, healthy. Japanese green tea and a lemon. Okay, this fridge has had enough of me, so that's the end of the fridge tour, everyone. Way hey. I definitely need to go on a food shop. Finally, I was getting my life together. Staying on top of it all. Being in control. I was thriving. But it wasn't all great. Oh my god. Why are the slugs everywhere? Oh my god. I'm out. I'm actually out. I am never entering the kitchen ever again. And then this happened. What fresh hell. So immediately I started to panic. I am not mentally equipped to handle these kind of situations. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to fix this problem. I've been left here by myself. So naturally I did what I do best. Um, and I ignored the problem for a couple of days, which uh, didn't help. It actually didn't help. It made the problem worse um, because the leaking still continued and now it's been continued for three days. So eventually I called the boiler service. It turned out it was a boiler problem. Yeah, I bloody hate that boiler. I hate our boiler with a passion. It, it just doesn't seem to ever work, but thankfully the lady came and saved the day and fixed my boiler for me, so I no longer have a leaky ceiling. Hallelujah! Living on your own is hard work. I can live alone, that's fine. I just can't do the whole maintenance part, like making sure everything still works. Everything seems to be breaking and falling apart. Turns out there was a problem with our filter, and now it's been replaced with this beauty. All has been restored in the world. That was until a week later when it broke again. It keeps not working and it keeps giving cold water. I googled what L2 means and apparently it means one of the pipes has burst or something like that, which sounds kind of expensive to fix. I've just spent 200 quid changing the filter on this and we still have cold water. So I called the boiler service to come fix it again. We have hot water again. It's working! Oh, that sweet, sweet hot water. Ha, bit hot, but you know what? I love it, I love it. It turns out I just had to reset it. So there wasn't really anything wrong with it. I just had to press a reset button. But I didn't know there was a reset button. No one had showed me the reset button. So how was I supposed to know? Basically, the guy came all this way, just press reset and it started working again. We have hot water again. Well, hey, problem solved. Until it breaks again. Adulthood 101, people. I'm out. Why is the gym so busy at five in the morning? I came to the gym at five in the morning because I thought there wouldn't be anyone here. I don't like working out in front of people, but it turns out it's a packed gym. Why is everyone at the gym? Go to sleep, people. 
fitness can wait, man. Okay, and I park like a weirdo, haven't I? Yep, I park. Okay, maybe sort out my parking. Ooh. Oh, that's great. That is great. I woke at five in the morning for this. I want this to be dead. My gym is right next to a KFC and you can literally smell the KFC when you drive into the gym, which is so bad. Why would they put that? Why? Why? I just like it's so tempting. And I haven't been to the gym since. Turns out I hate my body, but I hate the gym more. I spend most of my time doing emails, editing videos, and going on calls and meetings. What can I say? I live a very exciting life. This is literally what I look like when I'm about to go on a Skype call. This is what a businesswoman looks like. Watch all these people stop interacting with me. Oh, okay, we're getting a call, we're getting a call. We started. Oh, I look great. I just look great. I have been editing for over six hours straight, and that is a really long time to look at my face. And I've got another video that I need to edit tomorrow. And I'm looking at my face right now. I hate myself. That is a unhealthy amount of time to be staring at my face and listening to my annoying voice. Why do I do this for a living again? I do love my job. I just hate the fact that it's me that I'm editing. You know, we're on that constant grind, pouring out the good, good, sweet content. <sighs> I don't know, I hate feeling like this. Even though I'm being really productive and I'm editing and I'm working every single day, I just feel like crap. I just feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm very stuck and I'm not getting anywhere. Um, and I'm just not very happy. And I just sucks and I hate feeling like this. And it's just like, oh. So I decided to travel. Am I just running away from my responsibilities? Debatable. But I am filming the whole thing, so still being productive. I'm going to Essen, baby! Wait, what's happening in Essen? What do you do when you feel lost in life? You throw a data map and go to that country for 24 hours. See you next week! I threw myself in the deep end by living with a stranger. It went great. I came back with a Polish family. I started to spend more time with people and less time on my phone. And the more present I was, the happier I became. It was around this time I started to see a real shift in my mental health for the better. Time is money, people. By not going on my phone, I am spending more time working and by default, making money. And we love money. Well, we love other things too, like healthy relationships and happiness, but money's pretty sick too. I really don't like spending money. I save 95% of the money I make, and the only reason I'm able to do that is because I still live at home. Because when I move out, I want to move out to my own place rather than rent. I did look into moving out and renting, but I couldn't justify spending X amount of money on rent. But it did motivate me to work harder and save to get my own place one day. I don't really care for materialistic things that much, but I've always wanted my own place, like my own house. I think the reason why I don't like spending money is because we grew up not having a lot of it. Like my family does not come from money. I grew up with that cheap Asian mentality where we just save everything and we don't spend and we like to get things for bargains and stuff like that. And I feel like no matter what happens in life, I'm always gonna be that person. I'm always gonna be a cheapskate. <laughs> so that's great. I have an accountant, his name's Samia. He's amazing. I wouldn't like uh, my uh, haircut, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the real world, it is the real We world. like to be authentic. I'm basically just waiting for the day he tells me that I can get a house. He hasn't said it yet. Still waiting. My end goal is to get a house. So that's why I'm working so hard and trying to do all these different things. So that through all of this, hopefully I can make enough money to get my own place one day. That'll be sick. I was invited to some of the city this year and I've never been to a YouTube convention before because I always freak out and stop myself from going. But we're not procrastinating anymore. We're saying yes to things. So this year, I'm going to some of the city. I was bricking it. I don't know why I get so wicked up and anxious about it. I really shouldn't. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine. It's fine. There's gonna be so many people there and I literally know no one. I don't know anyone. It's the first time I've ever gone to a YouTube convention. B, there's gonna be a lot of people there. And C, other than Simon, I know no one there. Like I'm not, I don't know any other YouTubers apart from Simon. And so I'm probably gonna be like clinging on to him the whole time, but he's only there for like half a day. It's kind of just me 
in the big wide world. I know it's in my head, but I have this fear that's gonna feel like the first day of high school where I'm gonna be the new kid that doesn't know anyone and everyone else has their clique. Click? Is it click? And everyone else has like their clique, their group. They've all made their friends. They all know each other. And I'm just gonna turn up by myself. I don't know anyone. And it's just gonna be like traumatic. But it won't be. It's fine. We like to push ourselves on this channel. We like to go out of our comfort zone. <sighs> you are a strong, independent woman. Yeah, I did nothing. I did nothing. I'm still freaking out. I'm still freaking out. They hooked me up with a really nice hotel room. So thank you for that. So in the city, appreciate that. Oh, it took me six hours to drive here last night. I drove all the way into London to get here. And this place is like on the other side of London. So... That was fun. Note to self, if I do this again, I'm not going to drive. I'm going to take a train next time. It's a much more pleasant experience, I imagine. Okay, slight damage under the eyes, but other than that, I think we're good. Ooh, it's like pixie dust. Oh, okay, that was probably way too much. It'll do. And, oh, okay, maybe it's not so great. Oh, God help me. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't even bring a hairbrush. I'm an animal. I'm feral. Hey. I look about 12, but it's the best I can do right now. I have literally just thrown up. Everything I just say, I just threw it up. Oh, my makeup's ruined. I haven't even started the day. Okay. Okay, so I just casually just threw up all my food. That's great. I don't know what's happening. My body's reacting in very weird ways. I'm clearly very nervous. Oh, my makeup's gone already, but it's fine. It's fine. The whole meet and greet was insane. This was the first time that I got to meet you guys in person and see your faces and have these interactions. It was just such a pure, wholesome, positive experience. Like everyone's so lovely. Thank you for all the love and support. It was one of the best feelings ever. I feel so grateful for every single one of you guys. Thanks to you guys, I get to do what I love and I'm never gonna take that for granted. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you. Say hi to the vlog! Say hi to the vlog! All my friends! This is Iman, one of the first people I met at Summer City. He is an absolute legend. This is Simi, the nicest guy you could meet. Dorothy, who is like a sister to me now. Nathan, I've been watching this guy's videos for years. It's still a bit surreal that we met and hung out. And Scarla, who is literally like a real life Disney princess. Nathan even sent Moon a birthday message. That's enough of that. What's up? We're out here. Moon, happy birthday. Appreciate you. All right, hey, bring it in, bring it in. You could say she was happy about it. I can't believe I came here knowing no one and left with so many friends. Like, who am I? What is happening? Hey! I met this amazing human. Hello, Zion, how are you? What is my life? What is my life? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I met El Mills. Well, I say I met. I basically walked over and cried in front of El Mills. It was so uncool. It was so embarrassing. She was lovely about it. She was super sweet about it. And she follows me on Instagram. It's a real her. I double checked. I was way too nervous to ask her for a picture. So this is the closest thing I have to a picture with El Mills. Great. That's just brilliant, that. Uh, it's click for Taz. She's like, yeah, I spoke to uh, the Simon editor Con yesterday, okay, yeah. and I was like, oh wait, are you oh, Taz? Is it, is I was like, you click for Taz, oh, yeah, yeah. and she was like, oh my god, you <laughs> know me. And I watched her videos, like she's jokes, she's jokes, she's jokes, and she listened to this as well, actually. Oh, sweet! Shout yeah. out, click for Taz. I hung out with Nathan Zed. I cried in front of Al Mills, and Simon mentioned me on his podcast. I peaked. I've actually peaked. It's all downhill from here. What a whirlwind it has been. Who knew what could happen when you don't go on your phone for a few hours? Since I get to meet all my favorite YouTubers, make a bunch of new friends, and I now have a Polish family. This channel definitely taught me to be more present, and so many cool things can happen when you're just like in the moment speaking to people. One of the main reasons I was procrastinating so much was because I felt very lost in life, and I didn't know who I was and what I'm doing. So I would just go on my phone a lot. But after this whole experience, I could not feel any more 
definitely. I feel really motivated, inspired. There's so many cool things that I'm working on right now and so many things that are happening and I just feel so inspired to create. I feel motivated, I have goals, I want to work hard, I want to get a house, I want to make cool videos, I want to meet more people and do more cool things. Like this just like my brain is just excited. Not even I thought it would go this well. I've come out as a completely different person. So that's good. I'm gonna spend less time on my phone. I'm gonna spend more time doing things. Life is wild. That has been me not procrastinating for a month. It's been wild, it's been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.